everyone welcome to another edition of noise maker where we screen through the noise to uncover the hidden gems in the stock market i am bhumika jain a equity research associate at desladdo advisory in this series of noise maker we'll uncover how smes using their key developments give good returns we will be talking about the three companies firstly uh, we'll know that this is not any kind of buy or sell recommendation okay these three companies we will be talking about wasa dentacity limited rbm infracon limited sahana systems limited first up with the wasa dentacity limited this company was incorporated in 2016 it is in the business of marketing and distribution of comprehensive portfolio of dental products recently this company has approved raising its authorized share capital to 20 cr and the issuance of 6.1 lakh equity shares on a preferential basis to three companies malabar india fund ashoka india equity investment trust and white oak capital additionally 8.65 lakh convertible warrants were also issued to malabar india fund this particular fund raise aims to boost working capital and facilitate international bank tie ups strengthening the operational efficiency and global partnerships talking about the future outlook for the company it is heading to explore opportunities to grow its business in the hospital and dental collage sector it is targeting 70% of revenue from its own product portfolio and 70 to 75% growth in the current year by utilizing its cash for international brand tie ups and in inventory expansions talking of the future um, like financial growth current financial growth for the company company has a revenue growth of 38% and a bidda margin and net margin growth net profit margin growth of 37% and 35% respectively coming to the uh, price start for the company company has uh, given a good return of 198% since its listing which is quite good okay next company rbm infocon limited this company was incorporated in 2013 it is specializing uh, specializes in engineering execution testing commissioning and operation and maintenance of mechanical and rotatory equipments for many industries such as oil and gas refineries cement fertilizers petrochemicals and coal gas based power plants it recently has signed 200 crores mou with green zoo energy limited to develop 15 megawatt of green hydrogen facilities in jamnagar and kutch which is basically in gujarat with orders of rupees 5098 cr already secured it this year and its position as a market leader company is poised to contribute to its future growth through these orders talking about the future outlook for the company it is projecting its revenue to grow with a cgr of 57% to 65% from fy24 to 26 it is also expecting to increase its operational margin to grow at a cgr 13 to 15% from fy24 to 26 it is also planning its expansion into solar sector by the end of this year fy25 talking about the financials for the company its revenue growth is 57% however they have a very good margin growth ebitda margin has been grown by 130 143% and net profit margin growth has grown by 251% coming to the price chart for the company company's price has uh, increased from 52 rupees to 1049 rupees that is a more than a 1000% which is good okay talking about the next company sahana systems limited it was founded in 2012 and it is a cmmi level 5 company cmmi is a model and level 5 means that it is in the highest level of maturity stage what does the company do it is a certified it company that provides it services digital marketing services software development and computer hardware training including franking machines computers leds and laptops recently company has acquired 51% equity stake in source wave technologies private limited for rupees 7.65 cr This acquisition will be completed through a share swap agreement. Total of eight four three two shares in the ratio of four four five shares against seventy three shares of SourceWave. This will expand Sahana's service offerings in IT-enabled services sector 
across e-commerce, retail, education and healthcare sectors, enhancing its services network. Coming to the financials for the company, company's revenue growth is quite good at 125%. EBITDA margin has been declined by 13% and net profit margin has been increased by 11%. Coming to the price chart for the company, company has given a return of 706% since its listing. Okay, that's it for today. But talking about our past coverages, we have covered, we have uh, taken uh, five uh, companies up till now. That is Chaman Lal CT Exports Limited that has given a return of 33%. Supreme Power Equipment Limited that was reported at 20th of September has given a return of 2% with Hinge Rectifiers Limited also at 2%. Proventus Agricom Limited and Five Star Business uh, Finance Limited, which was reported at 24 and 26 respectively, has given a return of 8% and 0.8% respectively. Thank you for today. You can refer to our noise maker link at the description below. Thank you. That's it for today.